Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart today. First of all, as you can see, since yesterday, we blasted up to the upside, breaking out from this triangle pattern that I will talk about in a minute here, and then even just slicing through this very tough level of resistance, eventually slowing down in this red box right here from about 72 to 74K. So now what can we expect in the short term here? Well, first of all, it looks like we have reached overbought territories on the RSI momentum indicator. And typically when that happens, well, the price simply needs to cool off a little bit. So for example, the RSI can reset back to the 50 level here by the price just trading sideways, or we can have what you are seeing right now, which is people just taking profits, making the price kind of reset to, well, in this case, this support level right here. Potentially we may even move further down to this support level right here from 70,000 all the way down to 68,500 US dollars, just in order for the RSI to reset. And then once it has reset a little bit, well, in that case, there is a lot more room to blast to the upside, in my opinion. Because taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat map, you can see that on the one month time frame, there's still $2.2 billion worth of liquidity sitting at about 74K. And as you know, if you watch my videos regularly, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. As you can see, we already took out a massive pocket of liquidity of over $2 billion when we reached the 72K price level. So I drew this out in my chart with these yellow boxes right here. These are the levels of liquidity. And you can see that we just went straight up to this level of liquidity and now potentially we are moving down lower. But like I said, Typically, the price gets attracted to where there's most liquidity. So it could be the case that we just see a retest of this trend line right here and then continue to the upside in order to sweep this level of liquidity. Either way, in the case that we do just continue to break out from this triangle pattern right here, well, then the price target for this breakout is technically 78.5K. However, in the case that we do just sweep all of this liquidity and then start trading down again, well, in the case that we break down from this triangle pattern, the price target will be roughly 58.3K. So right now, the big level you need to watch and that we need to hold if you are bullish is the 70,000 US dollar level, roughly speaking, is this trend line right here. Because in the case that we do break below this trend line right here, well, then we are trading back inside this triangle pattern and we just need to chop around for a little bit more. But ultimately, this triangle pattern will break out before the 19th of April. However, in my opinion, it could definitely be earlier than that because, well, the Bitcoin halving is in nine days. So that will obviously create a lot of volatility in the market, making it more likely that we break out to the upside or to the downside from this triangle pattern. So again, as long as we hold this level right here, we are good to go and ready to blast off to the upside. And in the case that we break below this, well then we just need to chop around for a little bit more and potentially have that risk of moving to the downside. Now taking a quick look at Ethereum, you can see that once we broke down from this level of resistance, we went all the way back down to this support level right here, but then got a phenomenal bounce back to the upside. And we are right now retesting this critical level of resistance. However, one thing you must keep in mind here is that we are already in overbought territories. So it could be the case that we are simply too overheated right now. And first, the RSI needs to reset a little bit before we can then break it to the upside. However, I do think this is very dependent on what Bitcoin does in the short term, because if Bitcoin just blasts off to the upside right now, I think we are easily crushing this level of resistance. Regardless, if you just zoom out a little bit on the daily time frame, you can see that all this move has been is a rejection from the 786 Fibonacci level and then finding support at the 618 Fibonacci level. And we are now simply bouncing back to the upside. And personally, I am still bullish on the Ethereum ETF idea because I simply think BlackRock, if they want something, they're going to get it. And I hear a lot of other YouTubers say that this isn't going to happen. But if you just look at BlackRock's ETF approval record, it is 575 to 1. So I think the chances of the Ethereum ETF getting approved are obviously pretty likely. So I don't want to bet against BlackRock and another clear 
sign that BlackRock is also really betting big to get this approved is because they bought millions of dollars worth of Ethereum recently. So this is just something to keep in mind and it's why I am personally bullish on Ethereum. Now, lastly, taking a quick look at Solana, you can see that again, same as with Ethereum. Well, here we got rejected from the 786 Fibonacci level and then went down to the 618 Fibonacci level. And that was this move right here. But then we found support and it looks like right now we are potentially just moving back to the upside. So nothing really crazy going on here. And zooming in on the short term for Solana here, you can see that we are right now in this level of resistance, but are trying to flip it into support. And in the case that we do, then likely the price just moves higher to this 187 up to 192 level. And in the case that it doesn't flip this into support, well, then the next level you need to watch out for is 171 down to 166. Other than that, nothing too crazy going on for Solana. We're simply chopping around sideways here. So I'm going to continue to check in on this because I do expect to see a very large move very soon here. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and check out this next video on the left side of your screen right now. Thank you very much for watching once again and I'll see you tomorrow in the next one.